Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. It's kind of middle of the day for me. It's midnight. It's kind of morning. And it's kind of evening. Whatever it is. Oh, I'm not supposed to yawn. I'm sorry, country man. <laughs> It's, it's going to be bad for people when they just happen to let's catch one of these and then they go to the first one and then, yeah, he said, uh, don't yawn. You've kept me up all night. It's all your fault. I haven't slept all night. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it sucks. Like I said, can you imagine having been... hanging on every chapter when he was writing it for months on end or weeks on end you know all right i went to a flat earth meetup i'm sure everybody knows that blah 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 see how many trolls come out of the woodwork or the sewer or the septic tank whatever it is the youtube septic tank of foolishness Since I brought the subject up, I might as well talk about it just a little bit. I could swap hats, but I ain't gonna. <laughs> I'll read in a minute. Um, yeah, went to uh, kind of a flat earth meet and greet, you know. Not not any big deal, there was nothing planned, it was just talk. I did have my tripod, I had two tripods, so I set up my tablet and phone, and you know, I got some recordings, I know that sounds not great, sorry about that. Oh well. Such is life. You know, it, it just it gets me that people, you know, bitch, piss, whine, and moan so much, but don't do anything. You know, you want to help, feel free. Send me money. Send me a thousand bucks. I'll get better equipment. Send me 500 bucks, a couple thousand dollars, whatever. I'll hire somebody to go with me next time. Other than that, you know, good advice, constructive advice is okay, but. You know, like one guy commented, um, the only thing I got, I can't hear anything you're saying in, on your, in your videos. Well, I have, uh, hello, 500 and some videos. Some of them are extremely plain. Um, maybe he was referring to the flat earth thing. Maybe he just happened to get on because he was a anti-flat earth or a globot. What is a globot? The coolest word coined in 2017. Um, a globe believer who parrots, who is a robot, robotically brainwashed, and only thinks what it's told, only puts out what is put into it. Garbage in, garbage out, whatever, you know, whatever goes in comes out. No capability of thinking independently. There is no artificial intelligence there. That's the saddest thing. You know, people have, most people, a lot of people, let's say, um, look at flat earth now if you honestly try to debunk it which all of us did go ahead and honestly honestly try to debunk it you'll be a flat earth believer plain a plain earth believer p-l-a-n-e it's a plain um you know no question why are there so many atheists converting to christianity or at least believing in god in the existence of god and believing that the bible is correct that's because they have a brain. They have been trained their whole life to think a certain way, but they are honest with themselves and honest with the facts. And when they came to the topic of Flat Earth, like I did, I started a uh, playlist called Weird Science, and I threw it in there. I threw a couple or three Flat Earth videos in there, and thought, <laughs> you know, right, you know. Uh, someday I'll look at it again, and I ran across another video, and I, I know about two. Or, it takes about three times. I just put them in the weird science category playlist. Look it up; it's still out there. And then um, it was my very, very first flat Earth playlist. Now I've got 250, maybe 300. Um, but uh, you know, and after the third or fourth or fifth video, I started looking at it, and I was like, immediately. I mean, I'm not stupid. I I, I knew science. I can argue the globe position just as good or better than most globe people um, but uh, you know I was honest with the facts you know water is flat well 
take a laser, whatever, shoot it across the water, and guess what? It's flat. There's no curvature. Not on the lake, not on an ocean. Lake Baikal in Russia is four, 300, right at 400 miles long, okay? And it freezes solid in the winter, solid. Like, you know, not just 8 inches, 12 inches, you know, several feet of frozen solid ice. There is no curve to it. 300 miles times, just take the, that 300 miles, my phone's not on, but you know. Take your calculator, go 300 times 300, times 0.666, the all important number for figuring globe everything. The speed of the earth around the sun, 66,666 miles per hour. Do it, get a calculator, do it yourself. Be sure and figure in leap year and everything, you know. Um, the earth is tilted on its axis at they say 23.4 degrees, right? What is that from the horizontal, though? Let's take 90 and subtract 23.4. 666. Right. <laughs> 666, you know. Duh. So, to get the uh, curvature, you have to multiply the miles, number of miles, says 10 miles, 10 times 10 is 100, okay? Square the miles, and then multiply times 8 inches per, per mile, and then you got to divide that by 12. Well, hello, just divide 8 by 12 and have a common set decimal. Well, that decimal is 666. And I'm not flashing Illuminati signs, I'm just telling you that is what they use, that was what they tell you to use to figure the curvature of the Earth. Get on Ask Google or Siri or whatever the Amazon critter is. What's the distance from New York to L.A.? <coughs> Give you a distance in a heartbeat. What's the curvature of the Earth between New York and L.A.? <coughs> Not that, uh, so, anyway, you know, there's a lot of, uh, almost all, everybody there was, um, you know, just, it would have been a, just a nice, pleasant, conspiracy theory round table talking about everything under the sun but as it was um, the couple who hosted it their son was there very articulate very very well spoken um, Jake and um, but he was arguing for the globe which is really cool and n nobody got mad I mean there's a few you know like you know he kept talking and somebody say hey can I say something you know when I did that a couple times standard could have had a moderator there would have been better it would have been much better for like I was recording, Vince, I think Vince, was his name Vince? Vince and I were talking about, he asked me a question, so I just turned the camera on. Well, we're sitting right there by it, but, you know, between the corner of the room and, you know, whoever was 30 feet away, it caught them just as, you know, their, their voices hit both walls and probably hit that microphone, and I don't know if you can hear anything. Sorry, too bad. Hey, it's nothing else, you know, just, just get a good idea that, hey, some people actually got together and talked about it, you know. If you can't hear it, who cares? I'm, I, I'm not really, uh, Mick was there and his wife, and we're going to get together. Been meaning to get the first time we've met. Um, they want to buy, find land and live in their RV and save money and, you know, buy, buy land and build a house. So, you know, it was good. It was a good meeting. There are people there that drove there from, just get this, this is an idea. Just give you an idea of what went on there um, a couple drove there from Springfield Illinois today to get to the meeting okay and uh, boy when they heard me talk about the Ozark Plateau they were like uh, you know like hanging on every word and really wanted to talk I wish I would have gotten up in touch with them sooner or you know during the wish I could have gotten there on time you know I had battery problems again and uh, anyway I was late so, and I was low on gas because we didn't gas up last time we went out. So, anyway, moral of the story is, you know, it was, uh, it was a fun time. It was good. Met some people. Uh, the Ozark Plateau, everybody there, as the, Pat asked for a show of hands. How many people are here uh, that are moved here providentially, miraculously by God, by Yahweh, to the Ozark Plateau? Like, everybody raised their hand. 100%. I'm pretty sure it was 100%. I mean, it was just, that was cool. 
and I made the point that you know a lot of people have said on Flatter's comments that maybe we need our own homeland you know gathering place nation or something I think most the times I heard the read the comment it was used the word nation our own country so you know I said hey I I believe strongly enough in the Ozark Plateau that it's uh, it's a nation in and of itself and it's bordered by rivers it has natural borders that it's the only place like it in the world it's ten times larger than the occupied region of Switzerland and uh, so you know it has all the resources and power and people and everything to be a, a, a completely separate which it is it is a completely I've had people move come here to visit be here for half an hour and go one guy made the comment he said Jerry this is a completely different world than the one I live in and I'm done with it by the next time I talked to him he'd moved 90 percent of what he owned up to the Ozark Plateau so um, it is it's a completely separate region it's a com it's a separate bio region uh, it's a raised place that is completely lush look at look at it on Google Earth it stands out like a sore thumb it's a bright green depending on the time of the year that the shots were taken but a bright green diamond okay I'm not gonna even try to do it about 120 degree angle offset a little bit it's not level anyway you know it's completely separate by region so and it is a place so I started a YouTube channel called flat earth homeland flat earth homeland you know so um, a lot of people are getting you know here 100% of these people here to discuss Flat Earth were called to the Ozark Plateau by, you know, the Most High God. So that was kind of the one, you know, it was it was neat to me anyway, dovetailed that both of them were, um, you know, factors or uh, just topics of discussion that dovetailed absolutely perfectly. So... Um, I'm going to do some, start doing some live streaming with this one guy. However, he, he knows how to do it, so that's cool. I was hoping for something like that. Um, but there are guys there that have worked in satellite industry, worked with NASA, and they were completely aware of all the silly, mundane, moronic arguments that people throw out. Um, you know, the, the standard things. As well as, you know, some better ones. I mean, it, it, it's just the brainwashing is just, you know, the sun is huge and the, gal the universe is trillions and trillions and billion, well, 15 billion miles long and it's 15 billion years old. That's all comes right out of Kabbalah. I mean, hello, it's right out of Talmud. It's, it's Jewish, you know, Jewish origin, um, you know, so there's no... No support for any of that whatsoever, especially the size of the sun. I mean, hello, geez. The moon is exactly the size of the sun. It's proven during eclipses. Every time you see an eclipse, one rolls in front of the other. Wow, what an amazing, miraculous coincidence. The reason why they look like they're the same size is because they are the same size. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Anyway, um, be that as it all may, that's about it. I'm going to can this 13 minutes that's enough so and I'm tired and I want to read chapter 50 so alrighty any other you know throw out some comments I mean I'm not gonna it's not something that I'm gonna get back into to uh, I mean I did it non-stop I if I had had DSL and nothing else to do than to study flat earth when when it when it uh, first hit the scene I would probably be dead right now literally um, I would have died of malnutrition, lack of sleep, dehydration, you know. I would have been stuck to the computer and they'd, you know, there'd be a cup of coffee here and cobwebs, you know, from my skeleton, you know. So, I'm glad I didn't find out about it until I did. Because it is the most complicated, the most fascinating, the most involved, the most um, amazingly, incredibly, miraculously, stupendously magnificent thing I have ever studied that encompasses every branch of science, virtually every branch of science, every branch of mathematics, language, history, geology, geography, astronomy, you name it, it covers every facet. Light waves, particle waves, um, you know, 
gravity, electricity, magnetism, uh, everything. Every branch of science, math, it, you can find something where it applies to the study of it. It's not simple. And that being said, it is, the, in, in a sense, the simplest thing I've ever looked at. Look at the ocean. It's flat. Pretty simple. Um, send a balloon up. It's flat. 120,000 feet, flat. You know, NASA, NASA uses GoPro cameras to show you a curve of the Earth, right? Felix Baumgartner supposedly, supposedly went up to 120,000 feet over New Mexico. New Mexico, the Earth, what you saw there in that shot with the curved GoPro lens, which incidentally you notice that the, uh, the fixture hanging the light over the capsule was curved, but when you correct it for the GoPro, put it through the GoPro corrector, well, guess what? The light pole is perfectly straight, and the earth is straight. So, you know, it's all hogwash, you know, smoke and mirrors. They're lying, you know. They always, everything they say is a lie. Never, never a straight answer, NASA, NASA, never a straight answer. So, oh, I could go on and on and on and on and on for like in about three weeks, so. And I don't have that much time, and I don't have that much memory, and I don't have that much battery, and I don't have that much anything. So, this is Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you're the remnant. And if you're not listening to it, if you're just, you know, here to, as a troll, go find some other bridge to crawl under. And uh, I ain't gonna feed trolls. You say something. If you say something that makes sense, you know, I'll answer it. One guy wrote a. Oh, posted a look at this. It's, I don't know which one it's under, but it's uh, uh, it refer. It has a a link to a WordPress or something, a, a blog site, and it's got. It's like it's God talking. You know. Um, oh my gosh, I feel sorry for whoever wrote that because read the Book of Job. Um, the Most High Yah does not appreciate people putting words in his mouth. Were you there when I created the earth? Were you there when I set the bars and gates? Were you there when I drew, encompassed, when I scribed a circle on the face of the deep and said it's a, it's a boundary between light and darkness, between cold and hot? I set boundaries for the oceans. This is where your cold, your mighty waves shall cease. This is where your proud waves will halt. Thus far may you come and no farther. Where is that on a globe? Where is that? Where is it where the oceans stop? Where is that circle between light and darkness where the oceans stop? Now, if you're not a believer, if you're a, a freaking atheist, that's, that's, that's fine. Atheists believe, they know. I, I was watching a video one time. I thought it was a Baptist preacher for a nice suit, you know, kind of portly. I mean, not that I'm complaining, but I'm just saying, you know, he was, you know, stocky guy, looked like a Baptist preacher. And he's talking about that the Bible, te Bible is obviously, clearly, absolutely, the Bible teaches flat earth. Okay. And I was like, it was an old, old, old looking video. And I was like, suddenly, I, you know, I mean, as, as I listened for a while, I was like, something wasn't quite right. And I realized when he said, you know, well, we know that God doesn't exist because the Bible teaches flat earth and that's a bunch of bullshit, you know. Astronomy has proven and astronomy has proven and science has proven and science has, no, science didn't prove anything. Michaels and Morley were real scientists and Michaels and Morley performed the same experiment 200 freaking times. And Michelson and Gale performed an experiment and Sagnat performed a similar experiment proving that there is an ether. See, Einstein's theory of relativity, which is just a theory, a bunch of hogwash, smoke and mirrors, bullshit, that he never wrote anything real. He never, he all he did was plagiarize people. He didn't do anything of va real value to with the world. Um, but he, uh, you know, he was the one that na put the final nail in God's coffin because he said there is no ether. Everything's relative, you know. Theory of relativity, theory of relativity, theory of evolution. You know, the globe was the basis for atheism. Atheism was a basis for, well, atheistic evolution 
the book Origin of the Species that Charles Darwin wrote. He sent a copy with a personal letter to Karl Marx. That book fermented, the atheistic evolution fermented in the brain of Karl Marx, and he said, only the strong survive, only the strong. So if we have enough guns, we can kill enough people. We'll survive. We'll be atheistic evolutionists. Where do you think communism came from? Karl Marx, it came from, no, it came from Charles Darwin. No, it came from the globe. If the globe did not, was not foisted on human humanity, the Bible would still be known to be absolutely true. Period. End of story. So when you say what difference does it make, anybody that says that is, an, is, is I, I don't want to use any French, but is... Mm. ignorant read all of the different versions uh, of Proverbs 18.13 if a man answers a matter he that answers a matter without studying it without considering it it is folly and shame to him and just like I said various translations of that say he's stupid He's ignorant, he's stupid, he's foolish, he's, he's, you know, there's a lot of different versions to say exactly in, in plain English, which is what they are in plain English. What does the Bible say in plain English? It says you're a jackass. It says you're a fool. It says that you're a, you should be ashamed of yourself of even opening your mouth. Because you opened your mouth and you had nothing to say. You have not studied it. You have not dealt with the issues. You're just a dumb moron. That's what it says. Okay? I'm just saying that's what the Bible says and not my opinion. That's what it says. So, all right. Um, but what difference does it make? It doesn't affect me or my job. Yeah, it will affect your, your children, your grandchildren, asshole. It affects what kind of world they're going to be living in, whether they're living in a world of communism and might makes right, or they're going to be living under the scriptures, uh, strictures of, of Yahweh's law. That's what difference it makes. So I'm done with it. This is Jerry Diamond. If you listen to this, you are the remnant. Like, share, and subscribe, or don't.